Hello, this is Jenny Walker, and I am here to teach you how to customize any secured Google slide so that you can customize these resources for your students. Um, first of all, why aren't all slides editable already? Well, most TPT sellers secure or flatten their work. This means they turn the text and the clip art basically into a picture that cannot be edited. And there are a few reasons why sellers do this. One, it protects the clip artist who specify in their terms of use that their clip art must be secured. Uh, two, students can make a mess of slides if they're not secured. They, they might move the parts or delete parts altogether, and this becomes a big pain for teachers. So it's best if they can only type or manipulate movable boxes or objects that are intended to be interactive. And third, unfortunately, there are a small number of people who come to this site just to take the work of others and sell it on other sites. So securing our slides helps protect our published work. But we know that sometimes you need to make changes because we all teach differently and use different terminology. So here are really simple hacks that will allow you to customize the resources you purchase any way you like. Um, other sellers may not be okay with this, but as for myself, you can customize any DigiGoods product. So let's get started. First of all, you can overlay text boxes, cover anything and hide it, or add comments. And it's just as easy as this. You click this text box, and then you paint it preferably the color of the background, then everything disappears, and then voila, you can add in your own text. So for instance, I might use the word elaborate when I'm teaching students how to elaborate on evidence, but you might use the word explain. So here you can just type it in however you want. You can make it bigger. You can change your font anything you like. This completely covers up anything that I had written or that the creator had written and allows you to make this how you want it. But as you can see, the clip art and the work below can't be lifted. It's still intact. You can add a little text box over to the side and add comments on it. You can do this with anything. Why is this? Maybe you don't want this part. You can just cover it right up. Gone. There you go. However, you might want to, you'll, you'll leave the text boxes that are editable for students to type in, but maybe you want to add more or take some out. So you can just size them up however you want. Maybe I'll hit control C and duplicate these and then control V to paste it. Now I have six. So you can really just edit this document any way you want. Maybe I want to use, maybe you, I'm sorry, want to use your own writing prompt. So you would just cover this up again, fill it. It's as simple as that. Maybe I want to duplicate this slide because I want to put two writing prompts. So I just hit Control C and Control V and boom, I've got two. Hope this helps. Follow DigiGoods and Printables ELA for more tech tips and resources, digital resources for your classroom.